Hi, my name is Carla Hansen, and I am the Interim Director for Public Information and Media Relations for Pitt County Government, and this is my story. I was fortunate enough to find the Advertising and Graphic Design program at Pitt Community College. This program set me up with the perfect tools for success. There's only so much a two-year program can really teach you, but fortunately this program was very packed filled with many opportunities for hands-on learning and prepping myself to take the next step after graduation. So it's a wonderful starting point on many areas, not just on the technical side and educational aspects, but it definitely allowed me to leave with confidence to then know what I can bring to the table to receive more technical skills and practice and training, which has now led me to work for local government. In this day and age, um, if somebody approached me and asked me why I would recommend P uh, Pitt Community College um, and or the graphic design program at Pitt Community College, my number one thing at first is how affordable it is to jumpstart a new career path in your life. Once you can get over that hump on affording higher education, once, and then you, when you can define what your passion is, or at least have some focus, um, the sky's the limit. And I've seen it through those that have graduated and been successful, and I've seen it in my own walk. In February of 2017, I was fortunate enough to be hired um, as public information specialist for the public information office for Pitt County government. That job title and position that I had incorporated a multitude of skill sets beyond graphic design. Fortunately, with the strengths of graphic design that I brought, I was able to produce and provide um, collateral and assets for messaging because this, this office is centered around communication and messaging both internal and external. After over three and a half years or so, um, up until September of 2020, I was then appointed as Interim Director for Public Information and Media Relations. It, again, it's very exciting to be able to bring to grow from the skills, basic skills and understanding of just the fundamentals of art and graphic design and commercial art and learn through my career and be able to use it directly to our local residents within this county um, and beyond. So recently the Public Information Office had a wonderful opportunity to produce a short documentary film. It's been a very um, timely type of discussion. So the inoculated parallels in Pitt County history discusses what it was like during the polio times and how children of that era in the mid 50s dealt with very similar type of cultural societal vaccine hesitancy and how that compares to COVID-19 today. This project evolved out of a family picture for which Rel local relatives of mine um, had just received their polio vaccine at the Pitt County Public Health Department in the mid-50s. Fortunately, with my staff, um, we the talent within and the passion that we have for this messaging and that we are still in the pandemic, we were able to connect and network and schedule interviews with our chairwoman and board of commissioners in addition to another commissioner and um, Dr. Silvernail, Dr. Trevathan, as well as Dr. Irons, all to get uh, a very candid, pure, direct, just discussion of how we've improved as a local community from the 50s into today. I'd encourage you to check out the inoculated Parallels in Pitt County History by visiting the Pitt County website at pittcountync.gov forward slash the inoculated and it will lead you to a link to view the video as well as read a little bit of behind the scenes and synopsis regarding the film. It's been almost 10 years um, since I have been a professional graphic designer up to my title as interim director for public information and I know that that the success of my career would not be if it wasn't for Pitt Community College 
and the many opportunities from in-classroom learning to the networking and mentorship that I was very fortunate to find in this career path. And for that, I thank you Pitt Community College.